Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. So, I just want to be honest about this. I, I'm, I know that there's a lot of build-up in this series for a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I know that the curses... The curses are worthy of building up and all that. I think the prelude to a lot of this stuff is just... it. Its build-up is... I don't know. It's a bit confusing to me. I, 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 love this, I love the story so far. It's just... I don't know. Maybe I... I'm hoping for some action this episode. What do you mean by confusing? Well, not confused. Well, I thought I had it figured out. It's like, oh, build up, uh, episode of build up, then action. Episode of build up, then action. Episode of build up, then action. Now I've had two episodes of build up. And I'm just like, okay, so are we building up to something even bigger or. Are... Uh, it wasn't really two episodes of build up because one of those episodes had a fight between Gojo and uh, Lava Head in it. No, that was two episodes ago. I don't know. My brain, like... I'm very, very tired, and I'm very confused, and I'm also very frustrated with a lot of shit going on. So, I don't know. There's there's a lot on my mind, and I'm hoping that something good, something big happens this episode. But, just... <laughs> maybe it's just where I'm at mentally. Mentally, I'm, I'm kind of shot. Because I thought the move, you know, being done with the move was going to be the end of... My frustrations, but no, there's just more mounting up, and I just got to deal with more bullshit. But that's life, anyway. <sighs> I guess uh, I guess let's just go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna try and do two episodes today, so we can uh, get a little further ahead on these shows. But uh, anyway, this is uh, Jujutsu Kaisen episode. Was it episode ten? Yeah, Idol Transfiguration. So uh, here we go. <laughs> ちょうずつ絶叫計画ってファイブがあんの。セブンまであるよ。マジか。あれもセブンとか<笑> Put your upper lip down. You want to be Elvis Presley, mother. Until nothing is done, if nothing is done in retaliation, it will just continue to do the same thing. It's... You got three small dudes versus four big lugs, though. What are they going to really do? Oh, I don't know. Pick up a pipe and hit them? I mean, honestly, people like that, the only way they learn is through physical, like, like physical, like, humiliation. And if you beat the shit out of them, whether it's with a pipe or whether it's with a fire extinguisher... Or whether it's with your fucking elbows and their goddamn nose or their foot or your foot in their nuts, it doesn't matter. That is the only way troglodytes and fucking Neanderthals like that learn. I've had to deal with plenty of like meatheads like that on the football team, and the only way they learned is when you knocked them on their ass and they realized you weren't a bitch. Because that's the thing. They take and 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 they take, and they take until eventually they take everything from you. They take your pride. They take your manhood. They take you know your sense of your, your sense of uh, anything, dude. We'll call it pride. Call it like confidence. Anything. And unless you fight back, unless you have the gall to fight back in some way, the thing is, most of them, once you fight back one time, they will leave you the fuck alone. 
I've encountered like like ninety nine percent of the people that I've encountered, like like that have left me alone once I fought back once because they realized you weren't a pushover and it wasn't easy. Yeah, the only way I got people to leave me alone in high school was actually to make friends with people that were big enough that they intimidated people that wanted to bully me. Well, the biggest the biggest friend I had, well, I was the big guy. Like everyone wanted, like like few people wanted to be friends with. I had, I didn't have very many friends in high school. But the one that, like, I was the big guy, and I was on the football team for a while, but I didn't fit in with any of the guys on the football team. Because all the guys on the football team, all they wanted to talk about was going to the bonfire, you know, pep rally, drinking beer, and you know, stupid, like, like, jock shit. The whole thing is just, you have to show some resistance back. Like, you demanding, oh, take your foot off, that's one thing. But instead, like, say that dude uh, did that, and, you know, wouldn't move his foot. Instead, I'd bring the back of my head up and, like, jack him in the jaw, and then I'd fuck... Then, honestly, where it goes from there, I guess we'll just have to see, but I'd ja- I, I've had to do that before, like, I think it was shit. to, like, bend down and be like, I'm taking this home to, like, right in front of him there. Like, it would be like, give me that DVD you're standing on, you know? It's like... Would you please move your foot? I want to take and that like home. Like, if he just, like, stands there and stares at you, would be like, all right, I'm going to count to three, and then start counting, and then whenever, like, you hit three, if he hasn't fucking moved, just fucking destroy his junk with your knee or something. Like, yeah. a little person fighting against a big person, I don't see Well, being a you have to resort to tactics like that. Here, yeah, because to fight dirty, because, like, they're yeah. going to beat your fucking ass either way. So, Very few times I've come up against boundary. guys who are bigger than me. Like, uh, that's the thing about being a bigger guy. Yeah, that's the lucky thing for you. Well, yeah. I've come up with a lot of bullies that were bigger than me. And I got bullied by people who were older than me when I was younger. Like, I got bullied by high school kids when I was a middle school kid because they just happened to come well, to the same library that we hung out at after school. Like, uh, I got bullied by, like, probably, I guess, what was how my guess would be, like, a uh, middle schooler or high schooler when I was just, like, an elementary schooler because he was in the neighborhood. I remember that dude beat me with a fucking, like, little shovel. At one point, like, fuck, dude. Like my next door neighbor friends that were older than me, like who didn't know what to do to like get him off of me. And, like I, in retrospect, they were kind of shitty friends because they should have fucking beat that dude's ass. But, well, I mean, yeah, that's if like I wish I knew what I knew now because I probably would have grabbed something a lot more like weapon wise than a shovel and been like, I'm going to hurt you if you don't leave. Like, but that dude was a piece of shit, fucking psychopath. Yeah. Well, you that that's the one percent, dude. That's the one percent who do it because they like it, who who do it just simply for the joy of like causing ilk to others. Yeah, and she's a sadist. Yeah, and I you deal with them on multiple. There was one kid who would not leave me. I, I mean, I beat the shit out of him multiple times in fights, and he still kept coming back trying to want to fight me. Uh, his name was Corey, by the way. Fuck him. But he basically just made it a mission to, like, try... Like, I remember we played, like... Uh, we were playing touch football one time. And he was on the opposite team. And he went up against me a few times and I kept, like, getting past him. But then he, like... I was, like, standing there. The pat, like the play was on a completely different side of the field where we were playing. And he just hauls off right behind me and just, like, j- like just lays into me. With a with a hit, like right in the middle of my back, and it like knocks me forward, and I roll down on the ground, and I stand back up, and he goes, "Oh, I got you there, bro! I got you there! I hit you freaking! I hit you freaking head on!" And I'm like, "I'm sorry. It, did, do you not see the back of my head? You didn't hit me head on, nothing, man. Like you, like that's a bitch move." And then we got into it right there on the blacktop, and then you know, teacher came out and broke us up. <sighs> Some people, like, there's some people who don't learn, but, yeah. Anyway, back to this. Mm-hmm. 
なぜなら人間は言い訳をしないと生きていけないからねこれは一人の人間をどこまで大きくできるかの実験そんな君が復讐ね矛盾してるって言いたいんですか順平は人に心があると思うそうないんですかないよ魂はあるでもそれは心じゃない俺はこの世界で唯一魂の構造を理解してるそれに触れることで生物の形を変えているからね喜怒哀楽は全て魂の代謝によるものだ人は目に見えないものを特別に考えすぎる見える俺にとって魂は肉体と同じで何も特別じゃない俺は純平の全てを肯定するよ<笑>いましたあれ私服高校にはしばらく行っていないみたいですねそれは俺もそうだけどさあいつら元気でやってる、oh, God. <笑>元気にやっているみたいですよでどうすんのそれを使います要と要求にも満たない低級の呪いです人気のないところに出たらこいつに彼を襲わせます虎く君が救助してください2死人できるが対処する術を持たない場合どのように虎く君が救助そう、私は私を救助します3呪術で妖刀を払った場合即時拘束します力づく力づくです、うん、5人ならそれでいい後で謝りましょう4二級術師以上のポテンシャルが吉野純平にあった場合一度引いて七海さんと交流します二級ならギリなんとかなると思うけどな呪霊ならね呪霊と同等級の術師が任務に当たるとつまり二級術師は二級呪霊に勝つのが当たり前二級術師は一級呪霊に近い実力というわけだあはそういう大事な情報知らないのこの調査に適当だから<笑> That I believe, 100% ここからは車を降りますよ出てくるならさっさとしてください異業を手遅れとはいえ人を殺めるのは気分が悪いじゃあサトルが来たのは困るけどあんまり弱いと実験にならないからさ残業は嫌いなので手早く済ませましょう<笑>ぶっ殺そう<笑>似ている絵に描いたような軽薄、その奥にあるとすぐの必要さ。あお。Didn't expect that, I don't think. 俺ちゃんと受けたよね、重力で。そういう術式？そういうとは。他人任せな抽象的な質問は嫌いですよかったおしゃべりが嫌いなわけじゃないんだ相手によりますここまで会話が成り立つ呪霊<笑>ねえあんたはさ魂と肉体どっちが先だと思うほらあるでしょ卵が先か鶏が先かみたいな話肉体に魂が宿るのかなそれとも魂に体が肉付けされているのかな聞くしかないか前者ブッブー答えは後者いつだって魂は肉体の先にある自由じゃない己の魂の形を強く保っているんだもう分かったでしょ俺の術式
魂をくれその形を無意転倒人間をストックしてるんだあ結構懐かしいんだよ時半今日は10時から働いているので何が何で18時<笑> Oh God He's like Yeah You're not making me work overtime It's like We got 30 minutes to finish this And I'm going home Whether you're dead or not He's like <laughs> is, this come, is this long monologue Going to last any longer Because in all honesty I don't want to go past 6pm I really don't At this point <laughs> so I, It's like All of a sudden He's like I can transform the human form so he, And you just see him over there Just going Come on Get through this already. Time mode now, so I guess that means he's basically going like to be taking it more seriously now because he's just like, It's past six o'clock, damn it. I want to go home. <laughs> he's eating it. Oh, what the fuck? 
Give her back her jacket. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn it, Gojo! <laughs> <laughs> I love that he even <laughs> he's even like nah. Of course, dude. That's funny as hell. Gojo's doing it. Gojo's just, just like he's like, look at my he's like, look at me. Woo! I'm fabulous. Strut. Overall, man, yeah, that was a good one. I like that episode because uh, uh the one kid it would seem like he's having like He's teeter. He was teetering on the edge of doing something terrible to that fat ass teacher that was like trying to <clears throat> act like he knew him. I hate when teachers try and do that. I hate when teachers like like. I remember after my parents got divorced and everything, I had a teacher try and tell me, you know, hey, it's like now I understand that you know your parents you know aren't together no more, but you need to understand that. You know, your schoolwork is what's most important, and you need to just hunker down and, and take care of business. And uh, it's just, and I was a kid. I didn't know I I didn't know like how to handle it properly. And he he pretended like he knew me, and, and you know he was just like he's like, oh come on, Nate, we're we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through. And he and I could tell he wasn't being genuine because he didn't even like he didn't even bother to like like help me out with with uh, whenever I like raise my hand to like help you know get help and everything he never wanted to help that and it, I guess his way of going about it wasn't the best that's I think that's going to do it for now uh, that was uh, Jiu Jitsu Kaisen episode 10 hopefully you all enjoyed it and hopefully we will see you all in the next one so until then I'm Nate, I'm Nate. we'll see you everybody peace out